Good Vibe Nation. It's your boy G. I'm Aries, y'all. And we back with another video. Y'all, before we jump into today's video, make sure you throw a like on this video. Help us with this YouTube algorithm. Help this video get recommended, y'all. We need y'all's help. Subscribe for the good vibe. Always a good vibe. Always. Share this video. Because sharing is caring. Hey, I know you've seen our video that we just uploaded asking my wife some spicy questions that most dudes are afraid to ask. I don't think you've ever been afraid to ask anything, so... <laughs> other dudes other than Greg. <laughs> I'll ask anything. So today y'all it's a role reversal. We got the wife asking the husband some spicy questions that women may be afraid to ask their men. Are y'all ready for this? Cause it's gonna get spicy. I'm answering everything. Ain't nothing off spicy. limits for me baby. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Spicy. <laughs> Are y'all ready for these questions? Are you ready for the questions? I'm ready. You got to answer the questions. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Question number one. Do men like being pursued by women? Or do you want to do the pursuing? I I don't I don't like to be pursued by a woman. I don't like it. <laughs> the dog chases the cat. <laughs> Why must I feel like that? Why must I chase the cat? The woman is the cat, the man is the dog. But what I, if she ain't no regular alley cat? Like, what if, she, what if she's a lion? What if she's a cougar? What if she's a jaguar? Then that means that she is too aggressive for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I like, to, I like to chase. I like to be the one doing the chase. Like, if you came at me and you was like, ooh, take me out. I'm, I'm ready to go. I would be turned off. First of all, I don't think a woman would come at you like, take me out. Like, what if she's just showing interest in you? Like, I don't know. It's not, like, not that aggressive. Like, more subtle than that. But she shows interest before you show interest. That, that That's wrong? I don't like it. Aww. Yeah, I don't like it. Women, just let, let the man pursue you. You know what I mean? It, it's just, I think there's just roles, you know? There's roles. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I've only done it once, and I was intoxicated at the time. But it worked. <laughs> <laughs> he was into it <laughs> oh my god okay are you ready for the next question i'm ready what tips would you give a woman for the first kiss i wouldn't really give a woman any tips like i think if i was going to have a first kiss with you like the tips that i would give myself are to make sure that i had Fresh breath so that I don't have the onion mouth or stank breath when I'm going in for the kiss. The one thing I would say for a woman is just to make sure that you don't got too much spit. Like, I don't want my mouth to be all, like, drooly. Like, that's kind of like a turn off, like, too much spit in your mouth. Wouldn't that just be in general, though? That's not that's not regulated to just, or limited. That's not limited to just the first kiss. Like, don't have too much spit in general. Or yeah. sometimes do you like a wet kiss? I mean, I like what? Wet <laughs> don't give me no dry kiss. I mean, I don't want no dry kiss either, but I don't want it to be like sloppy wet. Like that's disgusting. Like not the first one. No, no. I don't think you need tips for the first kiss. It's supposed to be organic and it's just supposed to happen. You don't plan it. It's the first kiss. Yeah. Definitely. So it's just gonna happen how it happens. Little less drool and fresh breath. Next question: Do guys really judge girls based on their height? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> I do because like an Amazon, like anything that's over six feet, I'm just like, that's intimidating. Because that's bigger than you. Yeah, I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. I mean, normally I've tended to date like five four, five five type of girls, you know, like shorter than you, like you're actually the tallest woman that I probably ever dated. But I mean, Rihanna is beautiful and Rihanna's like five eight and you're five eight, so it's just like that's model status to me. So I I've learn to embrace the height but I will say I do not like when you put on heels and we take pictures and you're taller than me. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Get some kitten heels. <laughs> Does anything about me say kitten? <laughs> do I look like a kitten to you? <laughs> I don't even like cats. <laughs> no I mean I'm, I'm more open to model height, model bay. You model, babe. <laughs> <laughs> what is 
the most attractive thing that a woman can wear? Skirts and sundresses. I don't know, it's just like, ever since high school, like every, t every time I see like a woman with like, well you, with like a skirt and a- You said since high school, I wasn't in high school with yeah, you. Yeah, I, I think that's where the infatuation began. So you just like school. dangling legs. You like the legs to be exactly. free and exposed. Exactly. And especially longer legs, model bay legs. You know what I'm saying? So like when I see model bay's legs. Okay, but you just said that you used to prefer short women. Yeah, but now I don't. And I prefer longer legs. So like whenever you wear skirts and sundresses, it just does something to me. It's just like I just be ready to take you to the dark side. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> does a guy think if a girl has male friends? I don't like it. You feel threatened? I, I, I'm a firm believer that two attractive People? Humans? Yeah, two attractive people, like a male and a female. I don't feel like it's humanly possible to be friends with them and not think about them in a sexual way or want to be with them at one point or another during the friendship. So like, if you have a gay best friend, I would be like, cool, cause I know he ain't trying to do it to you. So you can have a gay best friend. But like a regular dude, like a testosterone dude, like me, you telling me he's your, I'm your best friend. Just like you always say, like you should have no other best friend outside of I never said best friend i said male friends i just i don't i don't i don't prefer it i don't like it you don't like it i don't like it and maybe because i'm like a dude dude like i know if i was around a chick who was fine i would probably want to hit it so like your male friend would want to hit you i think that things are different if you are in a relationship and like you guys have a group of friends and it's a mixed group males and females is that is that a, okay is that appropriate i don't like men around my woman but you have male friends, so if we're in a setting where your male friends are there and I'm there, are we just supposed to pretend like? No, that's fine. Y'all could, y'all could, because he comes around you because of me. Like your okay, male but, friend. Okay, we're not gonna hang out without you. Yeah, but see, that's what I'm saying. If you had a male friend, y'all, you would talk to him and converse with him and probably go out to lunch with him without me, and I wouldn't like that. No, it's not going down. No males, none. <laughs> he said what he said. <laughs> Do men want women to give them distance or to be more clingy? This is a stupid question. We already know the answer to this question. Yeah, I, I, prefer, I prefer distance. Like, I don't like clingy. I had a girlfriend way back in the day and I couldn't even get up and go get a juice out of the refrigerator. She well, was... where is the line? Because distance and clingy is like two in extremes uh, yeah two extremes like at different ends of the spectrum so yeah. i mean i i think just like you said i think it has to be like a meet in the middle i do want you to want to be around me and like if i'm playing my video game or something even if we're not directly interacting you sit in the loft and like you do your thing on your ipad while i'm playing my game but like if i get up to go to the refrigerator to get a drink don't follow me to the refrigerator like hey hun yikes I would be like, you're a creep, like you're weird. Like just go back and sit down. Like I'm just coming to get a drink. Don't let me go take a piss and I turn around and you're standing at the bathroom door like, did you pee? Dude, I'm telling you, she's completely psycho. Okay, she's in my house. <laughs> <laughs> just let me pee by myself. What if I just wanna make sure that it's flowing out okay and that it, that you're okay? No. I just wanna make sure that you're good. No, I'll tell you when I get done. <laughs> <laughs> Does body hair down there matter? So y'all, this is this is new for me. When you got your Brazilian, I had never really experienced a Brazilian. Mm -hmm. So I really liked it. I just like different things. Like I like how you always switch up your hair. Like you see, I always switch up my hair. Like sometimes I feel like I get bored with monotony. So sometimes I might prefer a bush. Sometimes I might prefer Brazilian. Like it just depends on the Greg that day. <laughs> you, want me to, you want me to switch up? <laughs> so what about like... <laughs> I mean, I don't really feel like there's much. You, it's either it's there or it's not. Yeah, and I mean, now that you're in the process of the Brazilian, like I wouldn't be like... Go Stop back to a, it? Yeah, no, no. So I mean, that's what I prefer now. But like maybe a year from now, I'd be like, let's do something different. I have to admit, like when I was younger, I always felt like... 
having nothing down there like if a guy preferred that it was a little perverted because like children don't have hair down there <laughs> so it's like if that's what you like something's wrong with you because i'm an adult and it grows <sighs> but i mean i get it now it's just it's cleaner it just looks nicer yeah yeah tmi sorry yeah. <laughs> Keeping in with the body hair theme, do men care about body hair in general? I definitely do. Like, I man, in high school, I had this girl. She really, like, we were just friends. But she was like, I want to date you. And that was a first strike because she was telling me she wanted to date she me. She was pursuing you, and you don't like to be pursued. <laughs> Pump your brakes. So she, she fell there. And then she had hairy legs. And I used to tell her, like, yo, I don't want to be laying in the bed with you. And I go to rub up your leg, and your leg feels like mine. But she was in high school, Greg. How hairy could her legs be her in legs high school? Her legs were hairy. Like, they were really hairy. Like, they looked like dude legs. And I was like, that is disgusting. And she was like, you're so mean. And that I was is like, mean. you told her she was disgusting. I didn't say you're disgusting, but I was just like, I don't want to feel your legs and they feel like mine. That's like, I would feel like a homosexual, like I'm rubbing on a man leg, you know? And I don't, I didn't prefer that. So I told her, you, you would have to shave your legs. That's nasty. But like underarm hair on a woman, disgust though. Shave your arms, shave your hair. I mean, you, a woman can have hair on their arms and that's it. <laughs> don't have hair on your lip <laughs> don't have sideburns I guess I got all the strikes cause <laughs> I only shave my legs when they gonna show I only shave under my arms on special occasions what? stop lying I have hair on my lip <laughs> sometimes I shave it sometimes I don't man oh my god <laughs> no hair shave it all off except for the hair on your arms listen Ladies, do what you do because they're going to accept you regardless. Because he's saying all this and I'm right here with hairy armpits and a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> do men like when women pay for themselves at restaurants? So I wouldn't ask a woman to do that. It's a lot for me to take a woman out. I don't take women. Like I took you out because I really wanted to be with you. And I mean, you see where we are now but i was never into taking women out if i took you out if we got to that level then i'm i, I got you like i'm gonna pay for you i wouldn't take you out and be like oh we going dutch now i do know i went out one time and it was like a first date type of thing and the woman ordered something that cost more than what i ordered and i was like Whoa. Why does that matter? I don't know. I was just like, why would she go and order something that cost more than what I ordered? She got what she wanted. Yeah, I just was like, that was weird. Like, man, you just supposed to get like a... <laughs> that little deal thing where you where you go to like... What, the two, what the Applebee's used to have, the two for 20? Did I tell you somebody took me on a... Took me to eat off the two for 20 at Applebee's? I what? really liked him too. And I was like... <laughs> First of all, he messed up because he took you to Applebee's. I mean, but back then it wasn't. Back then I wasn't as bougie as I am now, so it was it was cool. I, I didn't mind. But what? like, you already took me to Applebee's, and then you made me pick from the two for twenty. Terrible. Who made you bougie? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first thing you notice when you see a woman? I know, man, y'all, I'm so bad. Like, I notice everything. Like, if a woman is walking forward, I will notice if she has a keloid on the back of her ear. That's how much stuff I notice. When I first see a woman, I see like everything. Like it's like I see. It's like you just go. Doo -doo -doo -doo, yeah, like, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's crazy. But so I think the first things that I pay attention to is her face, of course, her smile, and how she's dressed. Mm -hmm. If you ain't got it right there, moving right along. And that's why the first time I seen you, I was like, oh my god. Uh -huh. She got to be mine. She came in. She had a beautiful smile. Her face was super pretty, and she was dressed to impress. I said, "Oh, she got all three of the things that I that I see firsthand." <laughs> see, I think for women, it's. I mean, of course, I'm gonna see your face, and then like your figure, your physique, and what you're wearing. And then if I make it down to the shoes, and the shoes are not okay, then everything else is is a wash. Like, nope, I'm good. 
I'm good. I'm only asking this question because it's on the list. I don't, I don't need this question answered for myself personally. But how does a woman get a guy to like her? I think this is a really good question. I think a woman gets a guy to like her by being a woman. You don't have to do anything really. Like there's not anything you have to do. Just like I said, I didn't know if I liked you. You could be attracted to a person and a person could be whack. I think just being yourself, like being who you are, not trying to be something that you're not, or like, you know, if if you're into a dude, but you're trying to like act like you're not into a dude, that could be a turn off. You know, like just just let it flow organically. Like be who you are. I don't like this question because you can't get somebody to like you. Like they either do or they don't. And if they don't, they can kick rocks. Who cares? <laughs> Don't force somebody to like you. Exactly. <laughs> if Just they don't like you, you, then that person is not for you. It's not for you. It has to. It has to be organic. You know. It has to be organic. <laughs> do guys tell each other that they look hot like girls do? Eh, nasty. No. I mean, you may not say, "Hey, bro, you look hot," but. Is it in some form or fashion that you're telling your homeboy, like, bro, you look good or you look nice today? Do y'all say anything like that? I don't I don't think we use the words hot or nice. Like, I think, well, it's like, I've seen your brother and I'd be like, yo, those shoes are dope. Or like, yo, that shirt, I like that shirt. But that's not saying you look nice. That's just complimenting an item of clothing. That's not saying you look nice. Yeah, no, I mean I, I seen my cousin the other day. He was dressed up for a wedding and I was like you look put together really nice. So you that's, you, that's you saying he was handsome? He yeah, looked I was handsome. just like you look put together really nice. You know, like you clean up nicely. You know, but it's not like yo, you look hot. That's weird. Haven't you ever seen a guy and thought he was attractive? Women do stuff like that. You see other girls and you say, oh, she's cute or her hair is nice. But guys don't see other guys and go, oh, look at his shoulders. They don't, we don't do that. I wouldn't see a dude and be like, yo, he looks hot. Like that's just borderline weirdness. <laughs> No, 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 no. You clean up nicely. Those shoes are dope. I like that outfit. I would rock that. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's like male lingo. I mean, and girls can be like, I could see your sister and be like, oh my God, you look so pretty today. Yeah, it's different. Y'all could be, let your boobs out around another woman, be in a thong. Like, like I'm not going to be in the shower with like a bunch of dudes, like my homeboys. Like, yo, let's go <laughs> to a sauna <laughs> and be naked. <laughs> <laughs> That's, they wouldn't want to hang with me no more, y'all. <laughs> what tips would a guy give a girl on how to be less shy in a relationship? You just be yourself. And if you feel shy, say you're shy. I don't want your representative. I want you. <laughs> My high school bro boyfriend broke up with me because I was too shy. You were debilitating shy. Yeah. If you didn't give me a kiss at the dance, I would have 86 you too. I don't know why I was like that. <laughs> like, give up them lips. And really, deep down, I'm really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why I'm afraid to let that out. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. What thoughts go through your head when it's my time of the month? That I wish I could go stay at a hotel until you... <laughs> Until you You're a liar. I'm not even that bad. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I always wonder how you feel. Some men don't understand how to relate to a woman during those times. I don't need you to relate to me. I just need you to leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a weird time. You just feel like, I don't know, you just feel crazy. You just don't feel right. And you just, well, I can't say, I can't speak for anybody else. But like when I'm PMSing, I just feel like irritated and just leave me alone and I'll talk to you when I feel like it. Yeah. Makeup or no makeup? <laughs> I prefer both ways. Like I feel like you're beautiful without makeup and I feel like you're beautiful with makeup. Now, do I feel like you need makeup to be beautiful? No, I don't. Do I feel like makeup en enhances your beauty? Yes, I do. But like, I don't, I never want you to ever feel like, 
oh my God, I can't do this because I don't have makeup on because you're still beautiful. Like I seen a picture of you before we even started dating, fresh in the morning, head wrap thing on, hair up and all this fresh face. And I was like, damn, she's beautiful. That's what sold me. It wasn't the makeup face. It was you in your natural form. I've already accepted that I'm ugly. Like I embrace <laughs> my ugly. I know that I am ugly. And it is what it is. Oh I'm ugly. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> I'm so sick I'm ugly. of being ugly. I'm not even tired of it anymore. I love it. I'm ugly. I embrace my ugly. Don't listen to her. You're crazy. You're beautiful. No makeup and makeup. So I prefer both. I love when we get dressed up to go out and you're made up. And then I love when we come home and you take that makeup off. You still my baby. No, you don't. Why do some guys feel, believe that a woman should lose her virginity before marriage? Man, this is, this is a tough question, y'all, because there's parts of me that, I don't know, just my mind thinking about other dudes having my woman prior to me. I don't even know why I think about prior to me. It shouldn't matter. But I think about things like that. So there are parts of me that wish that I was the only person that had you. But then a virgin just to me ain't it. Like, cause a virgin don't know what they doing. <laughs> I don't want no mannequin. But just because you are not a virgin doesn't mean that you know what you're doing any more than a person who's been with a hundred people uh -huh. just because you have experience doesn't mean that you know what you're doing any more than a virgin would some type of experience will like be better in that situation like i don't want no green tomato like i want a ripe tomato you know what i'm saying i don't want it to be unripened well you a fried green tomato <laughs> you sleep <laughs> wake up <laughs> I think I saved one the the spiciest question for last. Do you have, have these been spicy? I don't think have so. they been spicy, y'all? Are they mild? So. Are they mild? <laughs> are they mild wings? Are they yeah. hot wings? Ain't that wrong with a mild wing? <laughs> it hit the spot just the same. I can't even eat no hot wings, so mild is cool for you me. You know, I love me some mild wings and throw some lemon pepper seasoning on them. <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> Last question. What are your favorite type of panties that I wear? So y'all, wifey, man, I have always liked boy shorts. Like I was always a boy short dude. Like I just love boy shorts. But you have made me love thongs. <laughs> I have a higher appreciation for thongs, y'all. It's just, it's just something about the way the cheeks be exposed with the thong, you know? <laughs> I always felt like thongs were weird until I got with you. What's weird? I don't know. It's just like, man, you got a piece of floss in your butt. <laughs> like that thing is just, that, that don't hurt. Like, does it irritate your butt crack? Not me. I have always just preferred a thong over a boy short. Boy shorts are cute, but for me, they're not practical because I don't know what it is about my butt. I just have a wedgie prone butt. <laughs> so they're in my butt anyway. I might as well just put a thong on like, and then they hurt. Like thongs don't hurt, but like a boy short being wedged up there. <laughs> that joke hurts. Oh my God. So thong. Thong, the thong, thong, thong. That's I love right. it when your booty go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know, you know, you so clear them. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope these questions were spicy for y'all. We're going to do another one of these, y'all. We're going to call on y'all to drop us some questions on Instagram. So make sure you follow our Instagram handles. Right They're here. right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> drop a like on this video, y'all. Like I said at the beginning, help us with this YouTube algorithm. Get this video recommended. Subscribe for the good vibe. Always a good vibe. Become a part of the Good Vibe Nation. We need more family members at this cookout. And share this video, y'all. Sharing is caring. We'll see y'all on the next video.
until then, y'all stay safe and be blessed. We love you. We are a part of the Good Vibe Nation.